Good afternoon, everybody. It's Kathy from Create with Kate 56. Welcome back. Um, today we're gonna be. Do I'm gonna be doing an announcement. Um, I am doing a collaboration with Beth at Yes, I Made It Myself. Um, it's gonna be a three tag challenge. So I'm just reading right off the paper here, so I don't mess anything up. Um, two winners will win a journal. One one made by myself and the other one made by Beth. And the challenge is you need to pick one item from each of the three categories below. I made up my little, whoops, I don't need that in there. <laughs> Was working on something else. I must have stuck it in there. Um, anyway, so category A, there, you're going to put in fabric, twine, yarn, and ribbon. Number uh, category B is going to be a paper clip, beads, eyelets, or charms. C is going to be a book page, music paper, magazine, or a paper bag. Now the challenge is to use the three items you've chosen and make one tag. Um, you need to do three all together if you're going to follow along. And um, what we're going to do is... Uh, every Wednesday, we will go on, pick our categories, and make the tag. You can make yours all at one time. That's absolutely fine. You don't need to, you know, go for the whole time. But we're going to do that on uh, every Wednesday. And then the fourth Wednesday, we will be, at, or I'm sorry, on June 30th, we will be each drawing a winner. So to enter, you must be a public subscriber to both our channels. Yes, I made it myself. And me, Kathy Zorn. And the, the names that we're going to get are going to be found in the description box um, of this announcement video. So this is the video you need to um, comment in. Let us know you're a subscriber and you would like to enter the drawing. Um, as I say, then each of us will pick a winner on the 30th, and this is going to be open to the U.S. and Canada only at this time. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So all the information you'll need, all our channels, our Instagram and Facebook pages, and our YouTube will be you know, provided below in the description box so you'll you'll know where you got to go you can use the hashtag pick three tags the number three pick p-i-c-k three the number and tags um and that will be the um hashtag to use okay so i'm gonna go ahead and oh well first i'm gonna apologize i hear one of my dogs barking i'm gonna pick one from a and this one is yarn. And from B, I'm going to choose a charm. And C, you can't see me, but I'm not looking in there. <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing, well, what my head's doing. And from the C category, we're going to need something for a magazine. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pause and I will be back after I've gathered up my things to make my tags with. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, I found a Somerset magazine and I flipped through it and I saw some of these. Now these would probably go good in the journal that I'm working on right now. So I think I'm going to use... And see this. Yeah, I think it would get lost in there. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Uh, maybe, maybe I will use this page. Please don't tear where I don't want you to. Thank you very much. All right. Now I brought stuff 
think I got everything I need, but probably not. So <laughs> we'll see how this all goes. All right. So for my journal, I'm going to choose to make them um, two and a half. This is just some craft card here I've got. I'm going to do two and a half inches wide and is that two and a half? Wow, that looks pretty skinny. Um, let's see how this goes with our picture. Here. Oh yeah, I can cut her out and put her on there. All right, two and a half inches wide and about, I don't know, whatever right about there is. This is eight and a half, so I need four and a quarter. next time you can make your tags any size you want if you want all three of them to be different sizes that's great too however you want to do it all right let's get rid of this grab my mat all right let's see here how do we want to put her on here I think I'm just going to cut around here for now. And she, it's not going to take up the whole page, but I just want kind of an idea. Of what I want to wear. Okay, we'll set that aside. Get our tag. I chose this paper to be the back. I think it'll go pretty well and it'll go with my colors in my journal too. So let's get some glue stick. Holy cow, we had a big storm a little while ago. I wanted to do this earlier, but it was really storming. A lot of leaves laying around. I don't see any limbs that came down, but a lot of leaves. So, now that would have been way easier to do if I had to turn it upside down. What do you think? Yeah, why do easy, right? And let's cut her right here. Just the paper. There we go. Set that over there. Okay. Looks pretty good. I want to cut our corners. Mm, that looks pretty good. Just around the corners at the bottom slightly. Okay, now then let's pick this. wasn't very straight. Straight, never my strong suit. But you know what? That image is not straight. So, so. Just 
just go with it. Actually, I think if we put her on there upside down, or not upside down, but kind of sideways, and a little, oh, I'm going to grab a piece of brown paper if I can find it. I'll be right back. Okay, I found this. It's more of an olive -y color, but I think it goes well. Just a little border around it because if we do it crooked, okay, I think that'll work. We'll go with that. Okay, I've got some ink. Since this has stitching on it, I think I will stitch it to my card. Okay, I think that'll work. All right, hold on. I'm going to sew. I'll be right back. Okay, and as usual, <laughs> I stopped instead of paused. Ah. Uh, Okay, I think we left off putting this on here. So I sewed around the image and then I sewed around my tag. I put in one of my memory keeper eyelets here and I paused because I was having a heck of a time trying to get this charm on this eyelash trim yarn. So that's what you missed. And Actually, I fumbled with it for far too long, so you would have, uh, you would, you are happy that you did miss that. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, I think, I don't know if that'll work or not. I might have to do it over again. But anyway, here, I'll put this through here. Maybe. Oh my gosh, this is why this was in a box. <laughs> Yikes. Not the most fun I've ever had. And then this one still has the key on it, which I chose for my charm. This one hopefully will go in here easier there. Yay. Okay, now we got our two loops. And get, there we go. Oh my word. This is fussy. See if we can get this to tighten up in there. There we go. Um, what I think I'm going to do is put the brown ones through here because they were easier. That fuzzy one. the one that's in. This needs to go in. Okay. 
guess they have to go from the same direction. Oh, look at that. Hold on, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Whatever you do. Slide these down here. Put these back on either side. this around and give it a little tie hopefully hopefully that one is so hard to tell where it's at <clears throat> where it's at get in there there we go Oh, this is a, just a nightmare to work with. Oh my goodness. Well, that'll remind me not to do this again. <laughs> there. Whew. Whew. There we go. Push our key around here to the front. Give this a little snippity snip. And maybe we'll snip some more of this stuff off here. Give it a little haircut. Here we go. And then I found this in the uh, in the magazine also. So I thought we'd cut this and just put this down at the bottom. ink uh, <clears throat> a little glue stick Stick that down right there. Okay. Whew. No more yarn. Ever. <laughs> this, this guy. Pick this up. Get it out of the way. Put our pretty little. And there we go. Here's our card. Got my, I have yarn. I used a magazine and I have a charm. So there we go. Week one down. Hope you guys uh, are excited about this. This is going to be fun, fun, I think. And to see everybody's tags and what they do with their prompts is going to be really, really cool. So, and this will go nice in my journal I'm working on right now. So, win win, huh? How about that? Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, shoot us an email either to me or Beth at Yes, I Made It Myself. And we will try and help you out as best we can. Just put a note down in the description box with your question. And also remember, you have to put a, um, a notice that you're going to participate and um, that you are subscribed to our channels. And, um, and because those are the, that is the, the URL we're going to use to choose the winners. So, okay. All right. I will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.